Lesson 5 Shivaji's Education Beginning of Shivaji's Education Shahaji, Shivaji and Jijabai were in Karnataka. Shivaji was about 7 years of age and it was time for him to start his education. Shahaji himself was a scholar in Sanskrit. He had artists and scholars of various languages in his court. He appointed intelligent teachers to teach Shivaji. Shivaji learned the art of reading and writing, so much so that he began to read the stories from Ramayan, Mahabharat and Bhagavat on his own. These are the epics, the religious books. Shivaji also learned horse riding, wrestling, the use of swords and dandupatta. At the age of 12, he was acquainted with different branches of learning and art. At this time, Adilsha sent Shahaji to conquer the state of Naikas, that is, local chiefs in Karnataka. But before going to conquer the Nayakas, he sent Shivaji and Chijabai to Pune along with elephants, horses, soldiers, those who fight on foot called infantry, a treasury, a flag and trusted ministers, brave generals and renowned teachers. Now here on this slide you can see the picture where Shivaji is learning the art of warfare from the able men. They are the teachers sent by Shahaji from Bangalore when they came to Pune. Rejuvenation of Pune When Shivaji returned to Pune, he was very happy as he remembered his childhood days in Shivneri and enjoyed seeing the peaks of the Sayadri mountains. But Pune was totally devastated. It means it was ruined, destroyed by Shahaji's enemies. Properties were damaged. Houses were demolished. Demolished means destroyed or broken. Temples collapsed. So people left the place and ran away. Therefore, there was no one to grow crops, so fields were barren. Wolves roamed around the countryside. Pune was in ruins. The news of Jijabai's return to Pune brought joy to the people. And Jijabai assured them that they would be safe in Pune. People started coming back and settling in Pune. The temples were repaired. Farming was done. So the farms were cultivated once again and life became normal and Pune was now transformed. The Achievements of Dadaji Kondadev When Chijabai and Shivaji were in Karnataka, Dadaji Kondadev looked after Pune. He was also the Subedar of Kondana. Subedar means an officer in the army. Dadaji was a faithful man, strict, efficient and honest in his work. He was just and a strict disciplinarian. That means he was very disciplined. He built a big residence in Pune called Lal Mahal on Shahaji's order. Now, he did a lot of good work. What are they? He encouraged the peasants, peasants means farmers, by giving them concession in land tax. He offered prizes for the one who would destroy the wolves as they harassed the farmers. Now to protect the people from the gangs and thieves who robbed them, he raised peasant patrols. Now the meaning of peasant patrols means people who go around the whole area and make sure that everyone is safe. He fixed land revenue according to the quality of the soil. 
Shivaji's education. When Shivaji returned to Pune, he continued his education under the supervision of Chichabai and the eminent teachers sent by Shahaji Raji. Shivaji learned many science, branch of learning and languages. He gained knowledge of excellent administration. Administration means how to take care of his Jagir. War tactics, fort architecture. Fort architecture means how to build a fort. What are the important things to remember while doing so? Selection of horses and elephants. Ways of escaping when difficult enemies are by his side. What Veer Mata Jijabai taught Shivaji. Now this is the picture of Veer Mata Jijabai, the mother of Shivaji. Jijabai was not an ordinary woman. She was the daughter of Lakhuji Rao Chadha and wife of Shahaji Raji. From childhood, Chijabai inherited knowledge of politics and warfare. Chijabai was of the view that the valor, bravery of the Maratha Sardars were in vain and was not appreciated by the Sultans because she had seen the hard work of her father who served the Nidam Shah faithfully but was not rewarded. Instead, he was killed by the Nijam Shah. So, Chijabai wanted Shivaji to establish the rule of his own people, Swaraj, and not to engage in the service of others. The Mavlas were loyal, hard-working, and quick-footed. Quick-footed means they could move fast, but they were harassed by the sultans. They plundered their villages. Plundered means they looted them. They stole their goods. There was no one to take care of these poor mavlas. Shivaji wanted to do something for them. Shivaji often discussed this with his mother, Chijabai. Chijabai told Shivaji that Sri Ramchandra is the ancestor of the Bosleys. And Rama killed Ravana to make the people happy. Krishna, the ancestor of the Chadavs, killed Kans to bring relief to the people. Since Shivaji was the descendant of both the Rama as well as Krishna, so it meant that he also should follow the brave deeds of these great man, men. The words of his mother inspired Shivaji. Now Shivaji heard stories about Ram and Krishna. So he too wanted to be a brave man. He too wanted to do something and destroy the wicked people. The New Regime of Shivaji under the guidance of Chijabai and Shivaji's prestigious, powerful and able men whom he sent from Bangalore to Pune, Shivaji could govern and administer his Jagir efficiently. Shivaji also began to attend the grievances of the people. Grievances means complaints. The Mavlas got a glimpse of future Swaraj. The Mavlas were sure now that Shivaji will establish Swaraj for them, that is, the rule for the people. Shivaji's marriage. Chijamata searched for Shivaji, a suitable bride. She found a girl named Saibai from the Nimbalkar family of Paltan. The marriage was celebrated with great splendor. Thank you.